What is up, YouTube? This is Dfish Fan bringing you a dual video today. And um, let's see here. Who do we want to play against? I did this again. I started the video, and I don't know who the fuck I'm playing against. Uh, I don't want to play against anyone with low ratings, so that's the only thing. So, uh, as you can see from the title, I will be bringing you a duel with my Horny Rabbit uh, Volume 2. So, I updated this deck. I don't know if you remember this deck, but I built this deck when Rabbit was at 3 or 2, I believe. And, um, yeah, it, it focuses on vanilla monsters. And <laughs> another card that is a a favorite of mine, one of my favorite techs of all time. So I thought let's go ahead and uh, try it out and see how it works, and I'll post it on YouTube. So let's see. Today we're going against Lion underscore Slash. So thank you for that. Duel. And uh, so the opening. So you get Gene Warts Werewolf. So usually in most Rabbit decks, when you see your Vanilla's in your hand, you're like, "Fuck my life," because you know. Um, because the vanillas are pretty much dead. They're your rabbit fodder, and you try to get them as high as the highest speeders you can. But in this deck, you're like, oh, nice, I got a vanilla. So I have a monster, because you run a very low monster count, and you, you run a lot of cards to support that monster. Um, so apparently we're going against Heretic Noble Knight, which I have never, never, ever heard of. Okay, so, Pod Duality is extra live in this deck because you do not special summon. So, since we're playing against Heretics, I don't really know much about Noble Knights, but I know that Heretics lose to Skill Drain for the most part. So, let's bring out that Skill Drain. No Heavy Storm, thank you, thank you. Alright, I could go Tanky, and I will go Tanky, actually effect. Um, another great combo with this deck, because I do run Faustian Bargain in this build, is to tanky a normal uh, monster and then Faustian Bargain it, which is genius in my opinion. So let me see, who do I want to get? I'm going to get Gene Ward Werewolf too. Uh, Alright, so I'll get Werewolf, normal, set, set, uh, I don't need Phoenix Chain set because I have Skill Drain, so that should be good enough right there. It's a pretty gross build. Uh, that's fine. So my Warwolf's at 21. With this, it's going to be at 29. I don't want to activate the Skill Drain yet because I want... Um, I I want to change it to when I need it. Okay, you can sell one face I don't need special songs. I don't know what it does, but I'm gonna skill drain after that. Okay, definitely. Okay. So that's fine. So you can tribute to add it on okay. here. I believe Alexandrite should still be at two at zero zero because it's Tefnut's effect that makes it zero, not Alexandrite. Obviously. All right, so let's see what what we have here. Oh yeah, I guess you could do that. All right, so you can tribute one normal, add one normal model card from your deck to your hand. Okay. So he searches. That's fine. I didn't, honestly I didn't know what the fuck it does. Oh, okay, no. Control one, no more. I quit to once per can gain five hundred. If this face up kind of fails, it's just into it. Wow, that's not that bad. Okay. Sounds good to me. So I still have a book of moon and or the phantom beast, and he doesn't really have anything. So I could fast and bargain, but I don't know, I have a feeling that's just pointless. So I'm going to keep my Werewolf in my hand. Uh, I'm going to activate Horn of the Phantom Beast. So 
a 2900 attack and then run over his monster and draw a card effect draw alright good 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 so I could have done some damage with the uh, with the extra warwolf but I think uh, the bigger play my comeback play if need be will be this Faustian bargain with the warwolf combo so if I draw another monster then I can start doing damage but for right now I have a 21 um, I'm sorry 2900 beater uh, with skill drain on the field so and a book of moon to protect it so I'm in a pretty good situation right now no matter that my opponent has a seven card hand I'm kinda interested to see what combos he's gonna be able to get off under skill drain I know it's not gonna be many so doing this just setting every turn is gonna be amazing for me because I am plusing every turn so let me go duality as I said duality is amazing in this deck because uh, you you don't uh, you don't special like rabbit is your special summoning I'll get Dark Hole. Uh, I one of the big things about Dark Hole, in my opinion, I like revealing it to my opponent because it lets them know, hey, you can go off and you can go crazy, but you better win the game because I'm gonna have that Dark Hole. What? Why do you say skill drain? I don't understand why you type skill drain. That's fine. So, it has a 2,000 feet beater. What the hell? Oh. Okay. So, I have a feeling Book of Moon is really going to fuck him in his asshole because he cannot equip. Like, all the equips would get sent to the graveyard. Ooh, nice. A Barbaros. Okay. So, that was normal sum, right? You can... Control the reader special summon is correct for you. Oh no, that was special. So I'm gonna activate this. So I'll send that to the graveyard. Um alright, let's do this. Cause I don't know what his back rows were. So, um, this is going to be quite a bit of damage. Oh, he can pulse. That's fine. That's totally fine. So, main phase two. Let's see what I want to set here. I could set the MST. Hmm. I have a feeling he may want to get an out for that skill drain. So, I am going to set Phoenix Chain. And then my turn. Because I know that he's going to have to get rid of that skill drain eventually if he wants to go off. So what does this do? It's normal. Okay. Doesn't matter. It's skill drain. So it's a 1500 beater right now. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. I remember that card. If you, you can special one. So that's fine. And the reason I'm letting him exceed. Oh. It bounces? Or is he taking it back? Um, I think he's taking it back. The reason I'm letting him exceed is because he's using resources to bring on a monster that he can't uh, accomplish much with unless he has more back row destruction. So, um, with skill drain, any level rank 4 exceed, even if it has higher than 2000 or 2100 attack, I can book it, run over it if it's defense is low. I can finish chain it and have it not be a problem and then dark hole next turn to get over it and have Barbaros attack for 3000 so either way I have an out to it without having to waste my Book of Moon because I have a feeling Book of Moon is going to be more um, important in the future turns so okay so he's bouncing both <laughs> what is this oh next level tactics end turn okay let's see here well, I can't end my I can't end the game but I can apply a lot of pressure on him, so I'll just summon Barbaros. So attack. And attack for 31. Alright. 
so we're in a pretty good position here. Uh, I'm going to set the MST. The reason being is because if he, it's going to be for sure usable by the end of his next turn, so he dualities. Because worst case scenario, even if he uses this card and it's it would be retarded to chain MST, I can just MST my own skill drain and have the, the spot be open if need be. So what did he get with duality? He has bottomless, but it's already too late for that. Noble Knight and Nepthit. Nepth I think that's how you got this. Alright, well, good game. Good game, Senor. So, uh, yeah, so this is pretty much how the deck works. You know, you have uh, vanilla monsters. Um... Yeah, you have vanilla monsters, and you're able to control. Yeah, you're able to control uh, the field completely with skill drain, Phoenix chain, horn of the peanut butter, and then of course my favorite tech, secrets of the ga gallant or gallant. Uh, select one normal monster you control. You sh you've seen this card in the other horny rabbit videos. Uh, when the monster does battle damage, your opponent discards two random cards. So we got two super techs in here with Secrets of the Gallant and Faustian Bargain that completely catch your opponent off guard. And yeah, that's that's enough right there. And they're very good in this deck. So thanks for watching, you guys. Remember to uh, like the video and uh, subscribe and all that good shit. And I'll see you guys in the future. Laters. Wrong button.